It's all connected. 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 It's all and I am here with my lovely co-host. Yep, Cirque. Cirque, yep, Cirque, yep, Cirque. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. Well, uh, that's because I was, um, we're going to do a whole show where I have a problem pronouncing the title, man. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, anyway, this is episode 28 of the It's All Connected program. Right here live on reallibertymedia.com and rlmradio.xyz. And today's show is entitled Old Age and Treachery versus Youth and Skill. Yes. Who, who's the winner? Who's the winner? <laughs> who's the winner? <laughs> well, as the, old, so, as the old saying goes, and, and, and it's kind of a... Uh, modified version of the saying but that's all right uh old age and treachery always overcomes youth and skill but i i yes. decided to, to to ask the question rather than assuming that this old saying is actually accurate and true does it <laughs> <laughs> Well, sadly, though, it does, though, doesn't it? It seems to. It certainly seems to. Um, I, I have, uh, as you've been watching what's been going on on the uh, the Redditors versus uh, the, the, the hedge fund banksters last week uh, and continuing on into this week with, with different changes, um, uh, the Redditors saw the, this certain group of Redditors called Wall Street Bets. Um, it, that <laughs> if you're not familiar with Reddit, it's a it's a website out there. Uh, oh, I am. Yeah, it's like a forum kind of thing. Anyway, it um, is not a forum, Grimmy. It is the forum, right? Eh, whatever. Um, it's a forum. It's, it's the it's the biggest part of the uh, open internet, I would think. Well, they call themselves the front page of the internet. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I'm a big Reddit fan. What can I say? All right, I, I'm, I'm, I, yeah. I, I don't use it too much, but I did join the uh, Wall Street Bets group uh, today, mm. so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, mm. so last week uh, this group of redditors, this Wall Street Bets group, um, got together. They said, "Hey, hey, look, we're going to take down these hedge fund hedge funders because they're going after this this uh, store." Uh, company GameStop. yeah called GameStop and 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 so they if uh, you know what a hedge fund is uh, and you know how these hedge funders work and they uh, they they do a bunch of short selling they uh, they want to drive the price of a particular company or asset down uh, by a lot so that they can make a big profit off of the destruction of that company and these redditors said no, we're we're not we're not we're not real happy about all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have all our our Reddit army um, go out there and purchase a bunch of these stocks using this website called uh, Robinhood, which allowed people to make stock purchases w with no fees. And and so they did. Boom! They went out there all on this one day at a certain time, and and and, and they drove the price of GameStop up. Way up, yes. And and because of that, all these guys that these these short selling scumbags uh, that love destroying companies so they can profit rather than having the company survive and all these people. <laughs> not that GameStop is anything. I mean, it's a, it's a brick and mortar store, uh, and and people. I don't, have a GameStop uh, membership card in my wallet. That's terrific. And when's the last time mm -hmm. you used it? Oh, that's a couple of years ago. Yeah, see, so GameStop pretty much, you know, um, as most bri most of these uh, brick and mortar type stores that sell things that can be obtained digitally, not doing too well. Um, 
so so they so they were going they were going down anyway. But the, 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 these redditor people said, "Nope, let's push it back up and destroy those short sellers." Boom. Which is great. Are, are you up or down with this? I'm I'm great with it. I think I, it's I like it. I think I, it's funny. No, it is funny, and I and I love it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, the same the same the whole thing. You know, uh, the, these these I, I don't like the most of the Wall Street types of people. Uh, there, there are some good ones, but uh, for the most part, uh, they they don't care about the underlying asset. All, all they care about is their profit and and how they can do things. So, but you know the crowd, the whole crowd thing. They could, you know, the, it can do the same on the algorithms for one. Sure, you can like crowd surf that <laughs> some of those algorithms to pieces. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Any, anyway, it's a force to be reckoned with, though, in a digital world, right? Right. So um, yeah. apparently, uh, they're they're some, they're trying, attempting uh, uh, to do this with silver now, uh, because mo- <laughs> they're, 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 a lot of people, most people, yeah. uh, buy and sell silver. Um, what you call paper, but it's not even paper. It's it's all on on electronic now. It's all digital. So so they're mm-hmm. trying to do this with silver. Um, and they got silver to come up a little bit, a dollar or so, um, uh, which is kind of trending down now. However, um, I came across this article, which I'm going to share with you here, um, and this will be uh, I'll, I'll put this in I'll put this into the the blog as well uh, for later on. But uh, it's all over there on Zero Hedge, and um, Zero Hedge has been one of my you know one of my more favorite sites for several years. Um, uh, so, so anyway, <laughs> let me post this in here before I read it, share it with you. Um, okay. So th- this is posted up on Zero Hedge today, February 1st, uh, physical silver premium to paper hits record as market tears it too. So, uh, if you're not familiar with what a premium is on precious metals, it's what they charge over... Uh, what what a a distributor of silver like Atmex or or there's several of them out there, but uh, anyway, it's what they charge over the market price of a particular metal, uh, silver, or gold, or platinum, or whatever. Um, but this is this is focused on silver because silver has been suppressed and manipulated for decades now, decades. Hmm. Uh, and 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 it's it's been a horrible thing to watch. Uh, and any time you see news come out that says uh, it shows that hey, uh, what, what's going on with silver? We got this news here, and that should should uh, mean that the price of silver is going up, and yet it doesn't, or it actually goes down during these times. Um, One thing is silver, though, Grimnir. They're doing the same to rice. Oh, yeah, of course, you have, any commodity. They and can you do have, with... you know, large populations that are depending on rice for food. Right. And, and, and they're doing any... this to the rice market, too. Yeah, well, and it works for any commodity. It doesn't have to be metals or, or meats or grains or whatever. In any commodity. No, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. And and uh, these people sit back and laugh while, while people starve around the world. Um <laughs> and they, they own, you know, they own the physical commodity, plus they own the hedge funding and and, and the um, hedge market on top of it, right? Well, well, they own the futures, and the futures is what drives the price. And the futures is you exactly. you you purchase a contract saying I think within a month or two months or three months or six months, some of them go out of a year. Uh, anyway, so if you buy a futures contract on a particular commodity. You're betting, you're making a bet, a wager, that the price of this commodity is going to go to whatever point you buy in at. Um, but, but because, well, if you're doing fixed futures, right? Right. You're not only just betting, you are setting the market. You are setting They're the market. Doing, right. Because you're not, you're not betting that the market is going to go somewhere. If you have both the physical commodity and the derivative on top of it, and you're doing fixed futures... Not not like swaps and options, but fixed futures, right? Right. Then you are setting the market. 
You are now controlling the market. Whatever price you set is what it's going to be sold for. Right. That's At, a fixed future. I have to sell you this product in three months for this and this price. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you well the thing They're is, and you're saying you, it, you're saying uh, if at least in this situation here uh, with with the GameStop thing, uh, they they you know the 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 buyers, the short buyers, short sell buyers, mm -hmm. were saying, we think it's going to go down to $2 or whatever. Um, and and suddenly the price jumps up to 100 bucks from where it was at $10. And mm -hmm. and then and now you're screwed, uh, you short sellers, uh, because you've got to buy that. You've, guar you've guaranteed you're yeah, going to buy this yeah. on a certain date, and, and you're hoping – for the price that you that you bet for, um, and, and if it's suddenly instead of being two dollars now it's a hundred dollars, well you've got to make up that other ninety eight dollars. You've got to pay that. You've you've got yeah. to purchase it. That that's that's the contract that you bought into. That's what that's what you guaranteed. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can just add some currency swaps on top of it, right? Oh sure. Because sure. they're doing all the currency swaps right along on top of it and everything is now so completely diffused and abstract and fake it's all fake it's it's yeah. all it's all so manipulated uh, but yeah. but uh so so okay let, let's take this back to the end of the the topic old age and treachery versus youth and skill <laughs> now at least at least for a very short time for a day or two Using use and skill, use and skill, kick old age and treachery's ass. Um, yep. But but then all of the people that they work through, uh, the, whether it be the brokers that are uh, you know al allowing the purchase of these stocks with 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 uh, no no fees, no transaction fees, um, or or others around that that see that suddenly all of their buddies, their big buddies that are contributors to there in some way or another whether it be political idiots which a lot of the a lot of the political idiots um take big big donations uh from from these short sellers and other wall street types uh to to do their bidding um but also the the companies that they go through the brokerage houses um they also are beholden to the to the Wall Street folk, to to the short sellers for one, and and, and others that are there. So for but a, I'm just saying, what's the, the game changer here is that they learned, the Reddit community learned something valuable here. Oh, I think the whole world learned something valuable here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and for that, it's something is going to change, though, right? So it's from that, something new is going to come from that. Well, what what we the seen. old world, right? The old world that was all about knowledge. Knowledge was king in the old world. What you had uh, today, you were in like the middle of a renaissance, right? Innovation, innovations, and trendings and trends are happening faster and faster and faster and faster. So that's what you would call like a renaissance period, where knowledge is just growing exponentially. It's insane right now. Right, with the, with the technology available. To be able to to make these kind of moves and and the the crowd the group the whatever you want to call it the Reddit army um, and this doesn't have to just be a Reddit thing and it certainly won't be uh, but at, at they 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 brought it about they started it um, but the old and and I'm like I not I don't know how to say it. the old the old and treacherous <laughs> yes that's proper yeah. uh, that's okay yeah, yeah. Um, they're they're kind of losing out in the, like a renaissance world because they're 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 accumulating knowledge and learning from mistakes way slower. Oh sure, and and they are. They're antiques, they're dinosaurs. Because uh, they live in hierarchies. So knowledge has to travel first from the people who gain it from the bottom all the way to the top. And before it gets through all the management, it's never going to really reach the top before it can go back down and become to something new. And then you got the the young ones right now, right? They're more like amoebas or ants. So knowledge just go new knowledge goes and it's distributed, right? Right. And everybody starts inventing and putting something new together, and new knowledge appears and it's distributed. Exactly. And and the old world, right? The, they are not they are not gonna adapt like that because they don't have that amoeba like or ant like quality. 
they have to get knowledge all the way up and all the way down from their systems. Right, but they they have, they have had control for a long time, and at this point, yeah. they're hanging on to that control for dear life. They're they're grasping yeah. anything that they do, and so one of the first things they did was to shut down uh, the ability for of people to go out and purchase uh, these this particular stock or this uh, GameStop stock. They said, "All right, well, we're cutting it out." Well, they but, own the system that the young ones have to um, travel or have to live it under, right? Right. So, the, so that's highly illegal for them to be mm. doing that. That 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 is doesn't even fit their poor standards. Um, no. Uh, so, but then the next day, the next thing that happened was after they shut down the ability of, of these people to go out and you know these new investors to sign up with the company and go and purchase whatever they wanted as should happen in a free market, the very next day, the company that was holding uh, the, the stocks for these, for these new investors started selling the investors' purchases without, without, the, without the consent or knowledge of the people that purchased those to drive mm -hmm. that, those stock prices back down <laughs> to get more to the level uh, where the short sellers were at. But that's you see now they're at least they're doing and they're creating something on these people, man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. Have you, have you ever seen uh, Monty Python's uh, um, The Meaning of Life? Sure. Where the corporate um, office building uh, breaks loose, <laughs> <laughs> and and they start you know the, they they do a mutiny and become corporate pirates and they you know travel the Vast oceans of the corporate ocean, which is high tower buildings. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, do you remember? Do you remember the 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 end of uh, oh, what the hell is that show called? Um, it'll come to me. I'll think about it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but that, that's really that's activism, though, right? When you just see these, you know, I, I think the Reddit community just had enough, though. Oh, oh, Hitchhiker's Guide, Hitchhiker's Guide to the yeah, Galaxy. Okay, you remember, you remember the end of it there, where, where all all of these middle management type bureaucrat idiots, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're all the they're, yeah, they're all on this planet, and they, and they they can't do anything because all they can do is have meetings about this yeah. uh, and try to change something and there's nobody there to actually perform or do anything and no, so it's see, the arc. <laughs> don't worry we'll be after, we'll be right there you go first <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so that's that's what these people are they're, they're there to, to you know push you know an agenda one way or another but they got no workers they got no actual people to to perform the functions they're asking for um. <laughs> and and right now they are paying uh, a lot of money to tons of consultants trying to teach them how to operate more like the Reddit users. Yeah, but they're but never going to get it because they're hierarchical. They, Reddit they, is not, <laughs> and they don't have the numbers and they don't have the understanding. No. Uh, and you can never achieve what that achieved if you want to control it. You can only do it if it doesn't if it's not under control. Right. That kind of ant-like and, and collective um, power display, that you can't control that. No, no, no. It just has to happen. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and if you remember, I'm sure you remember, Wall, um, uh, Occupy Wall Street? Yeah. Okay, so you remember what they did. All they did was go and sit in the middle of the street there, in the middle of Wall Street, and demand certain things. But they didn't actually do anything. And I think most of that was fucking orchestrated. Well, it became, like, I, th I think it started out organic and then it was quickly co-opted and, and yeah. taken over uh, by, by the same people that are doing Black Lives Matter at this point. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the same group. It's the same symbol, that fist that, that's been used uh, to uh, take over all, like, all the color revolutions that happened over there in the mm -hmm. Middle East. It's the same people. Um, yeah. and, and, and they never actually did anything other than go out there and say, this is what we want. This, this kind of movement 
this this Reddit army, they actually did something. They actually performed a function that harmed those people that they were going after. Uh, right. And they didn't agree on what they want. None of those Reddit users agreed on what they want. Well, they somebody they, they agreed on what they didn't want. <laughs> Don't do that. And they agreed on one thing, but they didn't have to sit down and agree on a whole new paradigm. No, no. Here's here's the concept. This 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 is our target, and and this is how you how you perform the the function. You go out there and you yep. you purchase their stocks. It's just that simple. And that will screw all these people over here that are trying to destroy companies or that are destroying yep. companies and have been destroying yep. companies for a long time. So, I mean, you yep. know, they, they lost uh, those short sellers, those, those groups lost like $7 billion in a day, which yes. sounds like a lot of money to you and me. I, I don't. It is not. Yeah. But it, it's a fucking good <laughs> knowledge for the Internet and the crowd to obtain, though. Absolutely. Oh, we can do this. Wow. We, we okay. can actually do this. We can we can have an effect. We can actually on, do this. Yeah. On, on the financial world that's controlling our lives. Um mm. and 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 they do. They do control your life through their through their financial shenanigans. Um Yeah. Anyway, back to this article. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. We we're, we're supposed to go off on various tangents. That's our job. Um <laughs> It's all connected. Don't worry. Uh, okay, so here it is. Zero Hedge. Physical silver premium to paper hits record as market tears in two. Uh, this is the shortage of physical silver is exposing a tear in the precious metals market, unlike any we have seen before. As we detail below, uh, various executives from bullion dealer dealers have explained that the huge demand has left them with zero supply and no source for more for physical silver. So there, there's not actually any physical silver out there to be had either by you, the retail purchaser, or by them, the commercial purchaser. And so they can't sell you uh, the silver, and uh, wh what does that do? And while silver future prices, paper silver, have stabilized which is what I was pointing out earlier. <laughs> See? Huh? You still have the the digital derivative market on top of something that's clearly broken? Right, right. So simply put, the establishment can can print all the paper silver it wants, but there's no physical supply. And that likely ends very badly for those attempting to suppress reality for too long. Uh, so as noted here over the weekend, uh, online bullion dealers saw such a huge demand for silver ahead of today's moves as the Reddit Raiders, uh, I, I like that term, Reddit Raiders, mm -hmm. uh, prepare to take aim at the precious metals markets. So uh, it, it's... <sighs> Just a, a little bit of it here. Um, in the 24 hours preceding Friday's market close, SD Bullion sold nearly 10 times the number of silver ounces that we normally would sell on an entire weekend, leading to Sunday's market open. In a but they don't have it. They don't, well, no, they, they have what they have in stock. And and you know, places like SD Bullion and Atmex, they, they got a ton of silver in stock. But they also realize if they sell it at the prices, as at the current market prices, they will never be able to replace it uh, at, at that at that kind of cost. Because if, if this takes over, as it did with the GameStop, and, and the price of silver goes through the roof, rising to $40, $50, $100 an ounce, and now they've got what they've what they sold their previous silver for. They they can't replenish, so it, it's a it's a and and uh, the, also the, uh, uh, the 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 silver suppliers the miners or whoever um, that have the silver to sell them that they can mint into their own coins. Uh, they don't have the the stock or supply either, which which is terrific. Which is the way it should be. Well, once you start uh, making sure that everybody knows that the silver market is a total uh, manipulated game, that that what you're paying for silver is so far below the actual value 
on on the current financial markets uh, that that you just say, hey, what's 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 going? Yeah, and then so it mm-hmm. it raises up some questions. Yes. And it, anyway, it, it, it's a, it goes on. Go today. go look up Glencore. Yeah, go look at them. Yeah, look at them. Glencore. Look at them. Right. Glencore. They are they are in the middle of all this. Oh yeah. Well, you know, the Bank of London is they're the biggest scumbags, but. Yeah, Glencore has the miners, the mining companies. The they have like the whole chain, and they got the derivatives on top. They own all the transportation. They have the whole chain. Oh yeah, they're nasty. Nasty, nasty bastards. All right. And they're a teeny <laughs> tiny company in Switzerland. Teeny tiny company. In yeah, well, they 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 can operate out of a PO box and make trillions. So whatever. Um, and, 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 they put so much in taxes into that little town in Switzerland where they reside that um, the, the, they pay more in taxes than the rest of the community does in like years. Yeah, yeah. They have to give money back to all of the community down there because, you know, so much money is is being laundered right there in that little itty bitty town of Switzerland. Right, and uh, Da here the most says nasty people. D- Duh, they even, you know, they mine in Africa, and uh, then they make their deals with the African governments in the countries that they mine in. Sure. Uh, they make the deal with them that uh, they pay for the uh, power usage, so they pretty much pay the bill for the mining. Yeah. Just to have the the jobs there. Well, and they have and, to because. Um, uh, and then they sell it to their own companies for like really cheap. Sure. And then they sell that to a company in Switzerland. So all of the all of the money that is generated in those trades and all the taxation that should go back to the African company, whatever African company that are actually paying for the mining, mm-hmm. doesn't it end up in Switzerland? Yeah. They are nasty, and they yeah. own all this shit. And they do the same to the rice markets. Or what, whatever market. commodity, like I said, whatever commodity they want to screw with, that's that's what they'll yeah. do. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, Da or Subway Tuna, as he's now currently known, um, uh, says he knows a bit about mining companies. Well, I can tell you this: this much is that the mining companies have been getting actually screwed for a long time because they can't produce uh, the metal uh, at at the prices at the current market prices. Uh, so they have to be subsidized. They have to be subsidized to continue producing the, the metal uh, at, at the prices that the market is asking. Um, because everything got centralized. Everything into these gigantic hedge funds. They just they buy up everything. Sure. And then they buy up all the middlemen and all the cuts in between in some way or another. And then they sit there like a giant fat spider, just disgusting. And they do this. They do this to literally every market. They centralize it into these hubs. Right. It's nasty. Yeah, yeah. And then they add tons of speculative derivatives on top of it. Oh, tons! All all kinds of. uh, It's just like you know prank bets that, that people make. Or, uh, and then they make these little NGOs on the side, right? Where they, you know, the IMF-like uh, NGOs that then lend out the money to the people they are looting. So they will have to pay interest on the money that they, the little money they get back, they give them back as a loan. Sure. This is so insane. It is. It's it is. So it's insane. crazy. It's crazy. And there are people out there who think Africa is in trouble in, in the state it's in because of Africa. Oh, well, it's not because, it's never been because of Africa. I mean, you know, the the UK owns South Africa for how long and uh, so so many other countries in Africa have been controlled by European mostly European interests. We're, uh, we're chi- literally looting the the whole, you know, the continent of Africa. Yeah, well, China As China's we China's in that, in that game big time now too and mm-hmm. of course the US is in the game, but um yeah. Uh, so all of these things where all these warlords control, oh, you know, a, a country or a city or whatever, uh, that that is promoted, expected uh, by those controllers from from abroad, uh, whether it be the U.S., the U.K., or France or, or China or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're the ones that are that are keeping Africa suppressed. Uh, 
and and yeah. and and controlled by these warlords of by the various warlords, uh, because the, those warlords, of course, are, are gonna you know say, all right, how, what do you, what do I you need from me in order uh, to get you to to enrich my life? Oh, we, we just need you to enslave all your people and get them to do all this nasty work uh, that will you know probably kill them yeah. within a few years. Yeah. Uh, while we while we loot the whole thing, yeah. While we steal all and your then resources, we'll lend, and then we will lend you money, and and the sick part. This is really what gets me, you know. Then the IMF and all their little nasty clubs, whatever. Right. They lend they lend these country money, and then when they can't pay it, they say, "Oh, now you got to make uh, coffee beans and soybeans instead of food you can eat on your fields." So now they're making them do cash crops so they can pay off their debts. And then when they go, but then what are we going to eat? Because now our fields are no longer producing food. They say, oh, well, you can buy rice and potatoes and stuff from us. Oh, yeah. Right. Sure. So now they're, cons- now they're customers in their, in their little shop, too. Yeah. But they're forced customers. And they are not producing food for themselves. They're producing coffee and other shit that we enjoy and that we want to buy really cheap. So they produce them as cash crops. Right. They don't even get to do the industrialization of it, though. Right? Of course not. No, we buy them as raw cash crops so that it's our workers that get to do the grinding and the roasting and the, all that. So we get to make all the money from that. Yeah, if if anybody it's a corrupted world. If if anybody really wants to investigate something that probably personally could affect them, depending on your habits and such, uh, just look into the whole cocoa market. Um, m- most of the cocoa that is produced for companies like Nestle and Hershey and whoever is comes comes out of places like Ghana, where mm. all of all of the production is done by slave freaking labor. Those those people are abused massively to produce the chocolate that you so love. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and you may you may think, well, wait a minute, how can I how can I purchase uh, the you know the, the cocoa that I want uh, w- without going through this? There are ways, um, there, and and you can find that information on the interwebs as well on how to uh, produce non slave driven. Uh, slave labor cocoa. Uh, and I'm just that's just one example, of course. Uh, circus yeah. listed a whole bunch of others, but uh, that that's one that may personally affect you that you may want to look into and say, "Hey, I'm not buying. I'm not buying from these these damn slave driving people." Uh, or, or and at least live in the knowledge of how fucking corrupted these markets are. Right. And at least understand how how really tainted and corrupted these markets are, and how there is no fair trade whatsoever on the globe. No. Just if you at least sit in that knowledge, because when people start, you know, the whole thing about well, they just can't figure out stuff in Africa and stuff. I'm you're know, like. Yeah, no, that's not. People that. were looted and beaten, and are, are like exploited deeply. They have no choices. Right, right. Yeah. Well, anyway, let me let me let me take, let me let me pause here for a moment to mention. Today is February first, as I said at the top of the show, two thousand twenty-one. February for RealLibertyMedia dot com is Donation Drive Month. So here I, the gold up. Yep. here I am begging, begging for funding from y'all out there listening. We need funding. So go on over to reallibertymedia.com and click on that freaking donate button and, and send us some cash. Uh, there's also donate button over there on rlmradio.xyz. So get up off your wallet and send some our way. Uh, we 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 need your money. We need your cashola. Um, Ooh, cash, cash. I haven't changed. Not silver though. You don't want silver, right? Oh, I'll, I'll take silver. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll take silver. I'll take I'll yeah. take I'll take uh, Bitcoin. 
I'll take uh, uh, I'll take Dogcoin. I'll take XRP. Uh, I'll, uh, what, what else do I got? Um, most of these coins, most of the coins I have, you don't have, uh, like Dope Coin or THC Coin, which is Hemp Coin. Um, <laughs> can a can a coin, can a Bitcoin, uh, HTML coin, Espers, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take all these coins. Um, I, 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 I said, Trump coin. No, <laughs> no Trump coin. Trump Trump coins are not only worthless; they <laughs> they have a negative value. And if you have a Trump coin, then you owe somebody something. Um, uh, ca- cash is preferred, and that's done through a PayPal donate button there. Uh, although it doesn't say PayPal, you'll see it is once you go there. Uh, so I, I gave a, I gave Flash a little keychain that's a little uh, Trump doll where he's mooning, so and then I, when you press press him on the stomach, he poops. Oh, that sounds that sounds lovely. <laughs> that sounds just lovely. Um. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh God. Anyway, so so it's the old and treacherous are in fear right now. They're 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 they 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 know that they have to make ma- major changes. Um, uh, in, in I think order, they know major changes is coming, right? Well, they know it's coming, but they know that they have to try and stay ahead of the game uh, by, mm-hmm. by 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 uh, making to doing something that that prevents people like you and I and the listeners out here. Uh, today, uh, they, they know that they have to make a change to prevent us from having a profit while they have a loss. They they want us to have no profit, and they want them to have massive profit. As, as I, I really think, in the end of it, they're gonna they're gonna lose though. Do you think so? Well, because their uh, business model is so old and slow, they can't move, and and uh, the the modern world is broken down into micro. And it moves in a completely different way. And eventually, even the sea will break down the, the, the rock. That's just how it is. Okay. Well, I hope you're right. I, I do. I, I, I don't know, though. I mean, they are very treacherous. Um, and, and, and They are. And they've got state and government with them, man. Oh, absolutely. Nasty people. Yep, yep, yep. The, the global banksters are all behind them because that that's just, just awesome. Way to make a bunch of free cash. Um. <laughs> yeah. 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 But what they don't have is that, you know, ingenuity, right? Well, I mean, they, really... they, they do in a way as far as it, uh, they, they have ingenuity versus their competitors. And they don't consider us their competitors. They consider no, exactly. uh, we're, they're, we're they're the victims. Stuck. We're the victims. Uh, of them and whether they consider you livestock or not, um, which they do. Um. <laughs> but you see, the whole disruption of these big uh, monoliths and big elephants, the, it doesn't really happen where somebody comes in and disrupt them completely and take away their market. It more happens like a ton of small comes in and disrupts them a little bit here, a little bit there, and starts picking a part of their business models. Sure. And then they're left with like the empty shell, which is the expensive part, right? Some of these financial institutions, they have what thousands and thousands of employees. Oh, sure, absolutely. And they're up against, you know, they have a complete legacy because they did not start out digital and small and agile, so they have a giant legacy. And that used to be the uh, the safe, or you know, the the power of a market was your legacy. The bigger you were. Uh, the more impact you had on the market, but but that legacy can really fast turn into an anchor. And now it's no longer a good thing. Now it's like this big rock you carry around. And you, if you're being swarmed, like the banks are right now, the banks are being swarmed on one of their most core businesses, which is transactions. Right. Uh, and, and for a long time, I know that in the U.S. and in, in Europe, too, the banks kind of grew so they wanted to be financial supermarkets. Right? They wanted to have everything within them, so they grew to these large, large sizes. And now they're being attacked by these small fintech startups right. well, that are there's... just attack, attacking their core business. So what they will be left with is like a big, expensive shell. 
But what they were making money on is going to be gone. Right. Well, they they they, they, they produce nothing. Um, they 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 produce not a damn thing, but they control the prices of everything. They uh, produce nothing, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Except for, as I said, destruction. They produce destruction. Um, you know, which is you know why centralization. Why these... Yeah, they drive centralization. Yeah, and now and yeah. now in the current world, everything is is shifting towards total globalization rather than being centralized in the U.S. or centralized in Denmark. It's centralized from a, an unknown point uh, where where they can control not just their little geographic area but the entire planet. Yeah. But yeah. the 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 digital forces though are are driving towards decentralization. Absolutely. Into little microservices and APIs and open uh, networks and all that. A whole different distributed world though, right? Right. And and they're trying to co opt uh like all the the crypto world too. They they mm-hmm. want they want to be in control of the crypto. I mean they watch it grow and grow and grow every day and, and, and they Say well, we need to do that, and and so they try to uh, create a, a crypto, but they don't need to decentralize it. They centralize it. They they, they want to be, and it's not actually crypto where it's uh, produced on a blockchain via uh, various transactions. They want to be able to produce it by uh, via fiat, the same way they produce everything else. Uh, they they just that's all they know how to do. It's like these well, these centralize and grow. They're growth based, you know. The other, you know, the other world is not growth based. No, it's no. like knowledge, curiosity, exploration based, right? Right. And well, it you, is growth. It's just growth of knowledge and opportunities. If you look back at the uh, the final fiatization of uh, the U.S. dollar, anyway, and and what happened back in 1971 uh, when uh, Nixon removed. The U.S. dollar. You know why? You know why Nixon removed the U.S. dollar from from being silver, having any silver backing? Why? Because uh, they, they wanted to produce as many dollars as they could, uh, and not be accused, which rightfully so, <laughs> right, rightfully accused, of 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 it having no of producing more money than they than they had actual metals. Yes, gold and silver, both. Um, uh, so, so so he said, all right. From here on out, the dollar is based on the full faith and credit of the United States of America. It's not. It's not any longer based on the silver. You guys in, in other countries that have loaned us money that want to go cash it in for silver, you can't. All you can cash it in for now is more U.S. dollars, and we're going to produce these U.S. dollars at an astonishing rate. So no matter how much we owe somebody, we've got it. Because all we got to do is press Control P and print goes crazy. Printer goes brr. Um, <laughs> so 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 that's why uh, that that that's why. So they, and if you look at the inflation uh, that hit, uh, which is also a totally manipulated number, the inflation rate uh, based on the consumer product index, um, which they shifted around to try and make it look like inflation ain't so bad, unless they want inflation for something like they do right now. But anyway, uh, so so they said you, you can't go cash it in for metals because it's it's not based on metals any longer. Uh, so. But see, that's the whole part. That, that's the whole thing about the money thing, though, right? What? It's not real. None of it is real. No, 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 no. It's, it's not, not based on anything real. It's a, yeah. I mean, what the hell is that? The full faith and credit of the United. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Credit. That, you what? know what uh, it means. Uh, t- you know me what it means. What? If you, it means if you don't respect my authority, I'm going to come whoop your ass. Oh, that that's pretty much it. Yeah. But uh, uh, just think about the credit of the United States. At this point, they admit to being $27 trillion in debt. They admit that much. Of course, the number is actually much, much, much higher. But but you they, do know what the underlying asset, though, of it is, right? That's the labor hours of the American workforce. Uh, to a degree, to a degree. Yeah. 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 
So when they are all that in debt, that is the government that placed that debt of labor hours on the people. That is how many hours of labor the gov you owe the government. Right. That's insane. When you break it down to that, that's insane. Yeah, well, even now, I mean, if you go and look at, uh, there's a, a site that charts all the various admitted uh, debts and values and things like that. And they say, if you were born today, you owe $150,000. It's like, wait a minute, I was just born. You mean I owe $150,000? <laughs> and and what's, the, what's the average labor? What's the average pay in dollars for an hour of, of labor in, in America? I don't know, 12 bucks or something. So there you go. That's how many hours of labor they already enslaved the newborn with. It's right. insane. It is insane. And That's and insane. and the spending uh, and loaning and debt and all that just, just grows out of control. And uh, and they, they continue growing it out of control. I, I, you know, uh, you, you probably weren't a fan of Ron Paul back in, like, say, 2008. Um well, actually, I, well, not so much, but I was a fan of the energy boost that came through America. It was very uh, um, uplifting to see so many Americans across so many differences coming together to end wars. Yeah, well, not only end wars, but, you know, increase freedom and get, get, the, get the government spending under control. Uh, and as I've talked about many times, uh, that the, uh, the way that they control... Everything, of course, is through the money. Uh, that that's how they control everybody and everything. Um, yeah. And 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 in order to get freedom, this system must be ended. Uh, it's it's never going un, unless people you know it ends with you know and I'm included in this. Everybody it starts is. and it ends with the taxes. It really does because that's that's well, the but, whole that's the basis of all this is that we consent, and I'm going to have to say we, because I'm not going to live without, you know, live outside society. I'm, I'm not. Right. Well, the biggest tax, the the unseen tax, the thing that people don't consider to be tax, is the, is the, 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 the devaluation of the currency. Uh, yeah. You say, but, oh, but, if, but if you stop letting, you know, if we stop letting them tax our labor, then they can no longer sell it. Well, they don't really need to. They don't need the taxes at all. The taxes are used as a control mechanism. Uh, they, they they can tax the hell out of you without ever charging you a dime directly. Uh, through yes, that's what the paradigm of everything is built on. Yeah, but it, but it, it's through the devaluation of the currency. Let's say let's say you had a hundred dollars in nineteen seventy versus a hundred dollars today. What what could you buy? then versus now and it's about 30 times uh what what you could buy you could buy 30 times what you could buy today with a hundred dollars back in 1970 uh with, mm. with the same dollar so and and people don't really you know they don't talk about it or think about it or look at it uh, and understand uh that unless you know it, it you know they walk into a grocery store and they say hey i bought this bread for uh 90 cents last week and now it's a dollar ten well, that's not too bad. It's only twenty cents. Um, yeah, every week, every year, whatever, uh, and it continues to go up that way. Uh, like I said, if you go back to nineteen seventy, a loaf of bread was probably twenty cents, and now it's four dollars. So, <laughs> so I, I just I I put my hope in that this amoeba or ant like. Um, these organic knowledge systems like the Reddit community, I'm going to put my faith in that that's what the future is going to bring. And they have, and they drive the, you know, an increased transparency into everything. Well, I hope so. Because that's, that's what they did, you know, the whole thing with GameStop, is that the, they brought some transparency onto a system. Oh, the system works like this, and I can use it like this, and these are the mechani mechanisms. Right, and they also brought a, a, a focus <clears throat> to the corruption of the entire system. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Which, uh, you know, 
because that is what the you know the next the, the the newer generations they're all about the transparency and they have the technology and they're well used to the technology to go in and create it right and and, and the the various uh, goonerments around the world hate transparency oh they, they, yes they do. oh they, that that is a terrible but they're thing. speaking about it because they know that the younger generations are going to want it and demand it. So they speak an awful lot about transparency. They do that in Europe, at least. I don't know about America, but right, I hear right. a lot about transparency. Do you? Oop. They know they're going to have to be transparent and accountable. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah. uh, they, they, they certainly don't want... Uh, they they don't want to be transparent. They want to continue their games in the shadows. Uh, but there are 15 year olds out there that can write a Python script or an Air script in two days that will download and read all the documents on some governmental library in in no time and just extract the data to them. So they have a completely different way of mining information. These people. Sure. Yeah, and, 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 and governments uh, aren't set up for that. It's not the information that they want out there. That's for sure. No. No. <laughs> but that's the next generation are all these, they are going to be all these knowledge and information bots that just thrall through because they can read through pictures and, and handwritten letters that were taken to pictures 30 years ago. They have programs. You can just, you know, program a bot to go read through all that and extract the data. Right. Yep. You can do you can do your comparisons and figure out what the hell's going on. I put my money when when it comes to our little bet today. I'm going to put my money on Young and Skill. All right. So, I I they they I would say, unless they get crushed in some manner more than they were crushed last week, um, mm -hmm. uh, they they will keep coming. The and 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 new ones will will join in and they will keep coming. Um, and adapt. First and foremost, adapt quickly, come back. Yeah, and and the old and treacherous are, are going to try and continue on with their games as best as possible, um, but they will they will make modifications, uh, you know, build, build up some firewalls around their oh. their, their system, uh, and, and try. That's, that's what you know is going to happen. Lots of regulations now. Yeah. You can see tons of regulations on market policies. Oh, right. right now. And, and, and a lot of them are just being done by the, by the companies at this point in time because, you know, they're waiting for Gunerman to, to, to push through some new regulations, but they're slow and they take, they're slower than the, than the, the companies doing the screwing. So, yeah. um, <laughs> so, but so, I don't know about you where you are, but in Denmark, there's a big anti, you know, financial and law movement where people are getting really fed up with these, uh, uh, law people, you know the the lawyers and the financial, the economists. Right. People are getting real fed up with them. Yeah, well, you know that's that's been going on for a long time too, though. Um, yeah. I, I I mean, you know, who was it? Who was it that said first kill all the lawyers? <laughs> exactly. I, I forget who said that, but um, yeah. uh, that that was a that was a, a saying from the '60s, I think. Yeah. yeah. Might, might have been old, man. Might have been way older than that. I I, I don't recall. Um, well, I'd say we do the B arc, though, right? Like in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Okay. Well, the story, though, it, there is that uh, they make an A arc Shakespeare. with all the executives. Uh, uh, v Vinny says it was Shakespeare who said kill all the lawyers. Oh, kill all the lawyers. Hang the lawyers. Right. Yeah. Billy somebody. <laughs> Billy Shakespeare. <laughs> Billy the Shakespeare. All right. Um. Billy the Shakespeare. <laughs> Uh, but then they make the B arc with all the middle managers, and then they tell them, "You are the most important one. You go ahead and find the planet, and then we'll join you." Yeah, yeah. Because they think a big comet is hitting the planet, so we got to find a new one, and you are the most capable and most important. So you go find it, and we'll join you. Of course, Earth is canceled, so you know. Yeah, well, it was a different uh, planet, though. It wasn't on Earth. Right. But uh, it was a lie. The whole comet thing was a lie just to get rid of the lawyers. Right. Well, they, they need to feel self-important. That's for sure. Yeah. They, they, they need to feel special and better than everyone else. We'll be right there. Just go ahead. <laughs> 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 Call us when you get there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> wow. I don't know, I think it's uplifting. I I was I followed that GameStop uh story and I thought it was uplifting. Okay, well it's still going. Uh most of mm-hmm. most of the brokerage houses at this point have limited any what they call uh recent investors, new investors to a single yeah. share of whatever stocks they're trying to buy. You can't Ooh. go in there. You can't go in there and buy 500 shares or 5,000 yeah. shares or a million shares. Nope, you're limited to a single share, so you can't really, I mean, you you would need many, many millions of people in order to affect the, the cost, the price uh, of those shares and, and screw with their bottom line uh, of, the, of, the, of their short selling. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to be when in a couple of years when everything is, you know, this COVID shit is over and malls open up again and all yeah, that. Wait, 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 you, you think that's going to happen? I don't know. But if I'm ever at the mall again, ever, I will see if there's a GameStop. And then I'll go buy something. Yeah, yeah. Well, the last thing I got was a really neat coffee cup for for uh, Flash. Was it a World of Warcraft coffee cup? No, it was uh, Joker from Joker and the Batman. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you're you're still a, a WoW player. I am. I'm I'm playing uh, WoW Classic right now. So like the game in its first edition, like for what it was ten years ago, <laughs> without any of the right. tweaks or anything. It takes okay. forever though. Yeah, a lot of those games, the old games that I liked. Uh, they're DOS based, and so you got to run run in a little uh, emulator called DOS Window and uh, run them in there, and it just doesn't. It's not the same. Um, but what's so really cool about it, right? Um, yesterday I was doing a couple of levels, and uh, uh, one of them is really hard, and and I was not, you know, my level isn't really high enough. But the the cool thing is, then you just meet somebody else in the game who's the same. Okay. And, and people and, just hooked up. So some some dude or somebody hooked up with me, and then we were two to do the tasks, and it was no problem, right? Okay. And you just help each other, and she was real nice, and you know she gave me a lot of her, um, a lot of the goods, and made sure that when she met chests, I got the first loot and stuff like that. And I didn't know her, and nobody, you know. And then we played together for half an hour, completed those quests, and bye bye, and have a good one. What, what, what's your what's your wow name? I'm charmed. Say again. Charmed. Charmed. <laughs> yes. And charming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like a week ago, I was playing with some other dude who, who, you know, we were helping each other through some quests. Three days later, I get a PM from him in the game with a bag. Going, I found an extra bag because he knew I hadn't gotten any bags. And you're fucked if you don't have a bag, right? I, I guess. Bag of weed. You can't do any loot. You can't do any loot. So this nice stranger just thought of me. You know, he got an extra bag. He didn't need it. So he sent it to me. Great. Which is, like, really neat. Yeah. Well, People cool. helping each other. for, And you don't, there's no reason to it. <laughs> no, there's not. No. Uh, you don't get bonuses. Nobody gives you a medal or anything. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah. Um, okay. That's yeah. what I like about online gaming, though, is people yeah. helping each other. Cool. Anyway, that's gonna that's gonna uh, kind of wrap up the uh, content. I hope uh, we connected something. I I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, but, but between the treacherous old fox and the creative young fox. Um, <laughs> again, again, this is a donation month here at Real Liberty Media. So, uh, if yeah. you got, got any extra ducats, um, puck it up, uh, duck it up, duck it up, uh, send them our way. Time to sell those ducks. Go on the market and sell all those ducks you've been yeah. Yeah. harvesting. In the uh, send them towards Real Liberty Media and, uh, we'll appreciate it and, uh, we'll be around for another year. Um, so, uh, hooray. Um, <laughs> I am not the, okay. I am the serial killer, though. Does that, <laughs> mean, does that mean you eat a lot of cereal? I I really don't though. Okay. Does oatmeal count? Sure, that's cereal. Okay, then. Well, I, I eat oatmeal. All right. Do you eat cereal? Are you a cereal killer? It's it, it, it's rare. Uh, yeah, I'm. 
Uh, sometimes I'll buy like one of those, I don't know what it is, big old bag of uh, generic cereal Cheerios or something. Um, mm. And it'll last me a long time. Um, it's just like puffed, puffed grains of some sort, right? Like Cheerios. You know what Cheerios are? That's like puffed grains. Right? No, it's not. It's, it's, it's rolled. Rolled oats. Oh. Yeah. I don't think I ever had that. Uh. Cheerios. Flash, didn't you ever see teacher about Cheerios? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> All right, I'll guys. Take my organic oatmeal. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that sounds better. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, to yeah, the, have a good one, everybody. It, it's all connected. We'll be back next Monday with episode twenty nine. And uh, until then, you all have a great week and um, stay away from people. They're dirty and love each other. Dirty, nasty people. Yes, love them and from hug, afar. Hug pets. Love them from afar. All right. <laughs> That's it. All right. Peace.